I'm going to need a constitution saving throw from Pesha. Unusually, Pesha, you want to fail this. And I'll let you know that the DC is only an 18, but you want to fail. Come on, Pesha, fuck this up. Yeah, this up, Pesha. Fuck this up, Pesha. Crash, 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 roll. Oh, shit. Yes! I rolled a three. Plus five. Five for an eight. Woo! There it is. Oh, my God. Failure! <laughs> the devil is a liar. That sent me way back. I'm going to explode if we, ha- we haven't gone like one second into the session. No. No, no, no. Uh, we're resolving everything that happens in response to the tree of names being destroyed. Yeah, we're in the zero, zero point yes. territory. Yeah. Wow. Um, Still looking for that one. Still looking for that one. <laughs> <laughs> On the hunt for the one. On the hunt. Uh, patient, incredibly. Um, 39 points of damage. Um, I want to ask you, um, your arm touching the tree, uh, are you weakest, do you feel, at the elbow or the shoulder? No. (laughs) You gotta cut this shit out, man. He's all Hannibal. It's all Hannibal time. Uh, Just uh, At the elbow or the shoulder. I imagine after Decades of fantastic posture. The elbow? (laughs) Thankfully, you fail your constitution save, so your arm severs at the elbow joint as the blast throws you away, so you are not pinned to the tree and have some chance of surviving what is to come. Uh, Your holy avenger in its scabbard, you look down, and as force is erupting from the opening seam of fire in the world, you see it does not erupt, it does not explode, it corrodes. It diminishes and rusts, and you have seen this same thing earlier today with a golden bow of one of the heaven's mightiest angels. Your sword is unmade and ruined in the presence of what now comes. I have shells in my back. <laughs> I'm a back, guys. <laughs> what? How many dice is that, you That's fuck? A lot of dice. Hey, how many All dice D2s. is it? Oh, no. D2s, though? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Two, two, two. <laughs> Hey, if it's uh, more than 30, I'm going to call you a cheater. If it's more than 30, I'm going to call you a cheater. Straight up. 40. Gary Dynex Jr.? I'd like to report a cheater. Gary Gary Oh, okay, Gary. Hey, what's up? Where's my daddy? What's best at bedtime? Okay. Um, um, everyone here. Takes 29. Uh, uh, if you failed the dexterity save, you, if you fail the dexterity save, you take seventy-one. Oh my God. You take seventy-one points of fire damage. Ha- and if you succeed, it's halved to thirty-five. Uh, well, 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 I'm still alive. Um, night, night. Why are you shaking it again? She's gone. She's gone. That's, the, you that's it again? the fire damage. You're a, I hate you. Wait, there's more. There's more. Oh, I'm going down. How much was that damage? Out. Pesha's body has been sundered. Wait, like out? Sing- out? No, just unconscious. just unconscious. Unconscious. Okay. It didn't knock you on your. Not okay. completely. And we don't want to call this a spell. But, but but we're not. He's still going. He's still going. Can I, can I like silvery barbs 46. this? <laughs> Wait, can I also silvery barbs this? How, uh, Distract the fire. <laughs> fire. <laughs> um. A tidal Seventy-two. Have to thirty-six bludgeoning, Additional. but that's all—that's all the same effect. What does so, that mean? so that means that the fire and the bludgeoning, because oh. you're going to be dealing with death saving throws now. So, in other words, that if you—if that wouldn't do double your hit points, which I don't believe it does, or did you? How, how much? Yeah, does one forty-three go over your hit points? I, what was I at? I was at, you were at, you were at twenty-three. 23. Yeah. 
Uh, so what was it? 143. Total damage. What's your, what's your total hit points? If you My fail. total hit points were 86, so oh. I think that does. Oh, oh no. Oh. Uh, does. Um, yeah. In the eruption of fire, as you twist, the blast hits Pesha, and you can already see, Xerxes, that Pesha's head twists past the point that she can remain alive as she is consumed in fire. Uh, Pesha is dead. <laughs> Are we still under one second? We might be pushing point, point, nine. No. Point, point, point nine. What are you What are you attempting to do? I want you to remember, like you said, you remember everything. Yeah. I want you to remember who you were before. Yes. Before you came here, before all of this. Do, do you remember? I think I remember the nature of the, the nature of the ceremony. This is a ceremony of of atonement, yeah. correct? Uh-huh. I see. I think I know what may be happening. What? The ritual of Evandrin, the resurrection, it didn't work because he, you tried to resurrect him, but he wasn't dead. Right. You're trying to atone me, and I didn't do anything wrong. Oh! Yes! Oh! And he stabs you through the heart. Oh! You want to know what I've always hated about mortals? Uh, and you feel his claws dig into the back. You're wrong! I lay a hand on him and I cast remove curse. Oh God. Um, oh. He, uh, uh, he laughs uproariously. Look at me. <laughs> this is not who you are. This is not who you are! Who am I? You're not this! How have you forgotten? You think you know how you came here? You think you stumbled upon this place? Look at me. Look at me. I am the godless. I am a conduit of divinity that is far greater and more ancient than anything you have ever understood. Look at me. You didn't stumble upon this place, you and your kin. You were called here. We have always been here. You were wandering in the abyss, lost. And we called you here so that you can have a home. You didn't create anything. We have always been here. You came and you shaped. You took and you shaped and you change, but you didn't create a thing. You're no god. You're a child. You're a child, and you're lost. How do you not see that? You have referred to yourself and your fellow mortals as our children. You are not our children. You are a bad first draft. Ooh. The first plan was to destroy this, to let you all fade into nothingness. That's not gonna be how we do it this time. You think that you are a man of true belief and that it is all these wizards around you that are humble. Who is the most proud man here? These ones who thought they would fly a city or the man who thought he would teach me a lesson. The only difference between you and the Dawn Father is that the Dawn Father is a little more humble. Now, I'll tell you why I spit on your forgiveness. I'll tell you why I loathe your redemption. To reach a hand down to somebody, they need to be beneath you! And I'm beneath nobody! You wanted to understand me. Then you should have accepted that I was right! Um, and he pulls the back of your head and rips the skin off of your skull. <laughs> You got 
blown back through the door, so I think you're probably like 40 feet back. From him? From Quay. And then there's another probably like 30 feet to the center of the chamber where you see, uh, it's hard to look at him. First of all, there's heat waves all around him like on a hot day, but he's also just impossible to behold. But you see something that your mind registers as a figure cloaked in red, uh, about 12 feet tall, looking down at Vespin, um, and you see the Lord of the Hells speaking to Vespin Chloris, and, and you can hear what he is saying in this moment, but... Um, He's 70 feet away. 70 feet away, yes. And I know how far Counterspell works. Mm -hmm. But you're too far, and they're all bodies. I dimension door away. You dimension door away. Uh, Seventy Let's feet go. is. You're beyond. already dead. Let's stretch it out. Let's go. You're already dead. You're leaving me. You're already dead. Okay. Just like always. So. Oh. Um. Uh. Okay. Um. Uh. I will ask for an another set of death saves from Loquacious. You know he has two two failures. Yeah. Can I inspire myself? Unfortunately, no. <laughs> can I get my dead body? Unfortunately, give him, a little, give him a little look. Yeah. Yeah, just a wink. Uh, Don't worry. My wife will be right here to get us. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, man. Get those last couple of seconds. Oh, I saw uh, that kind of telepathic. Yeah, of mm -hmm. course, yeah. <laughs> you got it, buddy. You got it. Look, easy, okay. easy peasy. That's another six. Oh, my God. Six, six, six. Shut up! Shut up! Uh, covered <laughs> in lacerations, the last of your blood leaves your body, and you are dead. Can I just, for flair, yeah. his changeling body continues to morph and change, and his, na his nakedness uh, his penis just changes shape into all kinds of different animal shapes. Okay. <laughs> it becomes a duck penis for a second, oh, no. it becomes sure, a cow sure. penis. Just oh, crazy, oh, just yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I just want to sully, I want to sully this. Right? Just, I want to sully <laughs> this whole <laughs> image of you that you like painstakingly for sure, painted for sure. with a bunch of dicks. With a bunch yeah. of dicks. <laughs> um, uh, what did Nidus get? Oh, we're finding out right now. Come on, bud. Natural 20. Yeah. That's 15. Two successes, one failure. For our, I know that I know that we have seen a lot of conversation. I just want to say, for our purposes, this is the second round. Even though there's been conversation, lots of stuff happening. Time is a little wibbly wobbly here. This is the second round since everything happened. Um, we are going to. Um, hey, Brandon, do I know? Do I feel it? That he's gone. You do. And for the first time, we see them, Maya and Kier, uh, standing in front of you. Both of your children are home. They're home. Um, you see Maya looks up at you, your daughter, who is a young teenager, got a little bit of awkward plumage molt, like teenager molt around uh, her neck. Uh, uh, shout out to Sunny. Um, you see that um, she looks and she goes, Dad, Dad, I wasn't drinking. All right, just like another kid saw it at the party. I didn't like. I didn't know that there was anything. I know, honey. It's all right. It's all right. It's okay. I, I did. I didn't see. I didn't see any of this coming. Are you okay? Are you hurt? Um. Well, we were doing. Where's your brother? Um. Uh, up in the rafters, hiding. You see your son with holding his little thing. Says. Oh, God. Copy. I'm here. Here, please come down here. A light's down. Hey, Dad. Okay. I, I, I look out the windows behind them. I just do a quick, like, 180 sweep as fast as I can. Like, is there anything perched, any danger, anything following them? Is this room clear for the next 30 seconds? Give me a possession check. Why couldn't you just say, yes! <laughs> 23. Um, you do not detect any invisible presences. To your knowledge, it is safe. Uh, hearing distant noises, you're rattled. You're not working on a baseline. No. Um, uh, you see, it has not gotten to the point yet where Kier and Maya, they, the screams they're hearing 
could just be 4 a.m. Night of the Replenish. It's it's hard. It's like, is that someone being crazy and drunk outside, or is that something else? Um, uh, so both of your children look at you, and Maya says, Dad, what's wrong? I'm going to tell you all about this at some point. I promise. It'll be an incredible story, but right now, I have a su surprise for the both of you. As you say that, you see that Kier looks down, as does Maya. Maya points to your hand and says, Dad, why is your ring glowing? Oh! Fuck. Oh. Why are you like this? Oh, God. It glows when danger is near. Okay. Which means that you need to get out of here. I have a special gift. And I take out the two... The, the runes of the... Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is for the each of you. It's going to take you to your mother. She's very excited to see you. But I need you to listen to me. Whatever you do, don't come back until I find you. Stay away from the city. Dad, why are you talking like this? Is Maya, everything it's okay? It's very important that you listen to me. Yes, it's okay, but I need you to listen very carefully. It's up to you to take care of you and your brother. Do you do you understand? Well, you see, Kira says, but if the city's not safe, what about my friends at school? And and wait, we had a and you see, Kira, Kira, Maya says, Dad, why are you talking like this? Like we're gonna come I, back. I to understand. I, I take her hand. I open it. Kira, come here. I open his hand as well. I love the both of you so much. So much. Dad. I take the stones, I close their hands, and I clasp them shut. You see, they look with those stones in their hand. All that they need to do is break those stones in their hand, and it, the spell will take effect. You see that Myla looks up and says, Dad. And you see Kier starts crying and goes, Dad, did I do something wrong? No, oh. baby. I'll always have my eye on you, and I squeeze their hands. Oh. And both of them vanish as you see Maya goes, wait! And they're gone. Uh, you are awake in this moment. Uh, what, what's happening? You, you, I like, oh, I don't have telepathic bond. Um, Fuck. However. You got, you got horns. I will say this. Ah! Um, uh, ah! Loquacious, Loquacious, you hear him say, I don't have the spell. I don't have the energy for the spell. Loquacious, it's me, it's <gasps> Xerxes, it's Xerxes. There's not enough time to explain, but we have spell friends that are down. Uh, I rush to Nidus, who I know is only unconscious, and I lay um, in hands, give him five hit points. Uh, I will say this, you are, you are about to get, rapidly come out of the time stop. Yeah. Uh, uh, both of you give me perception checks. I, I'm, I'm not even percep Perceiving, I'm reaching down to the stone that she gave me. Um, as you say, you don't have the energy for it. I don't it. have the energy. Uh, Loquacious holds raw ether in Do his Do I know hand. what it is? That's the one that I just take saved it. the spell. I yeah. take it. And I rush <laughs> to Patia and I cast Revivify on her. Boom! Uh, Quay and Patia, you are both at one hit That's point. That's so dumb. That should uh, never have happened. That should never have happened. Happy! Um, this is a power of love! It's a power of love! Um, um, He's gonna kill us all three times! What happened to you? What's on your face? Uh, Laren, you take off. Nidus, you're headed, you're headed to... to level <laughs> yeah. uh, summoning of the dragon again. <laughs> we don't have time to <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Last dragon of Avalir, <laughs> and you will do as I command. As, as you say, as you say. Love. That's right, that's yeah. the fuck I say. Uh, yes. Love. Uh, yes. and, uh, so we'll do that. Oh, don't have time. Um, oh. Incredible. Um, uh, you see, he looks and says, we've just received word from the Ring of Gold. They they require our ships at the top of the city. Damn uh, the Ring of Gold! The people of Avalir must survive! Uh, uh, and I'm going to push past them. I'm headed to uh, the, wherever we keep the taxmen. Um, uh, incredible. Um, are you are you into where the taxmen are kept physically, or are you going to wherever, their engines? The in engine where we would control the them The engine from. where you would control them uh, from. And I say, uh, Batron, Alessandra, with me. Um, they start coming with you. 
Um, you see, um, uh, you see, uh, Badron and Alessandra are like running behind you, and they say, they say, sire, the 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 what? Forget the ring of gold. What of the treasure in the vault? We our ships for the for the damn the treasure. All right, the city, the evil we face is beyond anything we know. There, <laughs> the material goods mean nothing anymore. Only life. That is what we will serve. That is how the this beacon, this city will survive. <laughs> Our horde means nothing. Alessandra, power up the taxmen. They must defend the people. Batron, you must. You and the Harvest Moon will fight your way to the galley. You will take the people you can with them, as many as you can, get on the ship safely, and you will leave. You will leave, and you will go far from this place, far from Vasselhan. It will be done! Uh, and I'm going to uh, go about setting all this stuff up. Uh, you. Um, you turn to walk. You hear Badron as you are facing him say, as you will, Guildmaster, so that he can wait for you to turn your back. And a sword uh, plunges through your stomach. From behind, uh, as Badron, a pirate, pushes his sword through your torso. You've lost your mind. At the beginning of time, the gods made all the gold there ever will be. There will always be more people. Oh. And he pulls the sword out, dealing 24 points of damage to you. Uh, uh, Badron sitting pretty at 101 hit points. Oh. Lou Wilson, how do you want to do this? Oh. Uh, I'll say that I uh, hit him with the evil eye, uh, a move I used to use back in my pirate days of just like a squinting eye. <laughs> and then I'm just going to ever so slowly place the blade exactly at his heart mm -hmm. and then just walk forward. Petron, you are a pirate, and I respect you. <sighs> but Avalir comes before any oath I made in a past life. <laughs> and he falls dead. <sighs> um, above you, uh, Shakorjan, the his head in gold above you, Roars and oh, the. Can we say that yeah. at the end of that, yeah. Shaq, Shaq just uh, bites his head off. Yeah. <laughs> um, you <laughs> twist. Uh, uh, a man stabbed you in the back, and you had the decency to stab him from the front, right through the oh. fucking oh. heart. Um, uh -huh. um, you stand there bleeding, a full sword wound in your side. Not the first time you've been stabbed in the back. Hopefully not the last, yes. but who knows what the night holds. <laughs> um, uh, and uh, you, you, Alessandra says, the ships will be ready. That's it. They will. The ships will be ready. <laughs> yes, Guildmaster. Um, you hear behind you. <laughs> Canalithi emerging from the shadows. They've been in here somehow, tampering with these. The Hadmadad must have been practice. They begin to encircle. Your wound still there. Shakorjan looks at you. Is there any chance of us? Uh... There are so many. Uh, I think in this moment, uh, uh, Nidus realizes that for the most part, what he wanted to be done is done. Um, and is going to grab onto Shaq and be like, we must flee, uh, and take off. Uh, as you say, we, you must flee, you hear. <laughs> uh, the Kanalthi are scattered to the wind. <clears throat> Covered in blood, limping out of the shadows, you see a sphinx. <laughs> I, I sprint 
up to him. <laughs> oh shit, what is his name? Pheromine. <laughs> Pheromine. That was a really good roll. Pheromine. Hi. Let us, if we can, if it is all right with you, consider this the boon, and I would like to be paid for my parade appearance. <laughs> <laughs> Alessander has been reassigned to Commander of the Harvest Moon, but we will uh, we will be sure that your payment is uh, is is seen to. Uh, and you see um, that there is a noise beside you as you approach the dais. <laughs> And Loris of the Weaver's Mask. Mm-hmm. God damn it! Mm-hmm. No. I should have fucking killed him. I should have fucking killed him. I is he in it. the room? He is in the room. Fuck oh, you, no. dude. Fuck um, <laughs> he he looks at you, and you see he says, "Harold, I bring news from the Septarian. You must immediately broadcast to the subjects of Avalir. They must be commanded to divest themselves of all of their spell energy into the etheric net. The city must be preserved. Um, d- d- tell them uh, that they, many of them are, are fleeing, it seems, for, for ships that cannot be allowed. The ships must be redirected to the top of the city. Uh, this, is, this is the command of the Septarian itself. I... I appreciate that command. Uh, uh, y- yes, I. I will. Uh, that's exactly what I had planned. Uh, a- absolutely. Give me the deception. Yes. Yeah! 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 Yes. I should fucking kill him. Okay, it's a twenty-five. <laughs> that's low for you. I know. Right? It's as low as I can go. He gave me a thirty-three. He. Oh my God. He looks at you. Good. Oh. Good. Uh, and you see, um, uh, you see, he, he says, "See it done, Harold." Um, and would you like to watch the broadcast? <laughs> mm, mm, mm. By all means. He's, um, he. Uh, you see that Arya gestures him over to a seat. He he sits. Uh, uh, yeah, you see that he sits, and you can see that he's he's beginning to like do sendings in his head with other mages elsewhere in the city. Okay. And you see him say, "My master Eldemir." As he's I'm with distracted, I'm going to cast Wall of Force around him. Fucking hey. Best you man in the world. Are you yeah. playing? Uh, what level spell is Wall of Force? It is. Oh, 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 six or so. It is a six. It's my highest. It's a six. Uh, So the DC is 16. He's going to try to hit you with a counter spell, (sighs) but he's rolling it straight. Um, He needs a 12 or higher. We'll roll. Ooh, that's a lot. That's easy to get. That's easy to get. That's easy to get. Oh no! no, Uh, How does silvery barbs work? Uh, it's uh, disadvantage on the roll, adva- and then you give Can I reaction yeah. silvery barbs yes. him? You, you can you reaction. force him yeah, to re-roll. I will like, do that. Yes. And give yourself advantage on your And then well, you, yeah. I'll need it, because he's going to roll great. Roll bad. Roll bad. Eight. Ah! Eight. Um, so, you see he goes, um, uh, as you stand there, uh, you see that he, <laughs> he looks at you, he says, sorry, I'm with the Herald right now. He is about to cast a spell on you, um, and you see, boom, he is surrounded in a wall of force. You smack his counter spell out of the way, and he screams, ha, ah, you are a traitor, a traitor to the Septarian, a traitor, and all you hear is, <laughs> also, don't steal my words, bitch. <laughs> You're the traitor. You just Aria. got that from me. Are you okay. ready? Here we go. She looks and has, is a horror. What the fuck? What the fuck? She says, um, Count me down. In five, <laughs> four, three, two. Uh, good evening, Avalir and Kath Moira. I, no. Good evening, Toramunda. It is I, Loquacious Seely. I report the news, win, draw, or lose. I am your heartfelt, handsome herald, addressing you now for the last time. <clears throat> Fire. <laughs> Mayhem. <laughs> Chaos. But also hope. Fear is in the air, but the spirits of Avalir are strong, and our brothers and sisters in Kathmoira inspire us with their bravery, sincerity, and pure, forgiving hearts. Ladies and gentlemen, the replenishment 
is canceled. <laughs> <laughs> Our centuries-old bond severed. <clears throat> the truth is, our wizards have failed you. The Septarium, the Ring of Gold, Loris of the Weaver's Mask, liars, traitors, scoundrels, and curs. Their hubris run amok. But our two cities are like a married couple. We may have our differences, we may not have the same goals. We may even separate for a time. But we are connected by love for eternity. We made a promise to each other, and it's one we must fulfill. Tonight, right now, a grave danger approaches your homes. But don't trust me. Trust someone else, and I will transform my face and body into Eldemir the Wise. <laughs> Oh, hello. <laughs> it is I, Eldemir the Wise. Loquacious speaks true, as, as always. There are prehistoric terrors and man-made mistakes abound, but you can survive if you use your clever minds and passionate hearts to run. Flee now, take nothing but your loved ones, and get off Kath Moira immediately. You have until sunrise. Take every available skyship at the galley. There are five. Take any means you need to to escape this place from Avalir. Use your magic to save yourself. I have instructed all the ruling elites and administrators of this city to go down with the ship. If you are hearing my voice and you are part of the administration, any administration, you must stay aboard this city as it falls. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> uh, and then uh, my face transforms back into loquacious. Well, you heard it there, folks. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Remember your <laughs> Avalir <laughs> siblings and the sacrifices we made for you. Remember Seret, the eyes of Avalir and his bravery. Remember Nidus, the dragon, and his sense. Remember Pesha Porco, keeper of scrolls, and all the wisdom she brought. Remember brave Xerxes and Evandrin, the first knights of Avalir. And remember the architect Arcane, Laren, the most beautiful woman in the world. And also, Remember the market of wonders. <laughs> <laughs> Specializing in Mercer's discount spell ink. <laughs> we'll beat the price of any other ink maker in town or your next bottle is free. <laughs> I'm loquacious Seely, and I'll drop my golden complexion and just use my true face, my true changeling face, saying, Seely, you later. <laughs> I think Nidus down, down instantly is watching in rapture. Yeah. <laughs> um, wow. Is going to take two swings on you. Your armor class is now. 26. Beautiful. Pray for me. You got this, baby. We praying. We praying. <laughs> Boom! And you are holding up a 400 pound sword with your oh, Defender oh. Scimitar. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, over we your like head. That sea monster. Exactly. Xerxes, the bar has been set! Come meet me, brother! Uh, <laughs> I do believe the I man mean, has said, come get some. Yes! Oh, sure yes. He did. Yeah. yeah. Um, Vespin goes to cast a spell. Um, I'm going to real quick look up the wording of Wall of Force because I believe this will bypass it. So, um, come on, uh, bitch, come on. Uh, <laughs> nothing can pass physically pass the wall. It is immediate. All damage can be dispelled by dispel magic. You see, nothing can pass through the wall. Nothing can physically pass through the wall. But this does. This is not passing through the wall. Um, Vespin Chloris needed to get close, within 60 feet. 
a ninth level power word kill no. is coming for you right now. I'll use my Mage Slayer feat, but I don't know what, if that will do anything. You get a reaction, and you have, uh, it, is a, it is a sneak attack. Um, I don't know if you have any way to, to make it advantage, but uh, you do get a reaction to hit him. Does he have to roll on this? What's that? Does he have to roll on this spell? No save. It's about the hit point total. If you're under 100. Um, but he has target. Yes. He has mirror to. Mirror image. Uh, mirror image only applies to attack rolls. Oh, this isn't an attack? This isn't an attack. <sighs> We're just all desperately looking at our eyeballs. Oh, this shit. can't be! Um, uh, and first, first of all, no one—I don't. No one. No one has any counter spells or anything like that. I, right? I have a silvery barb. Oh, fourth level counter spell. Okay, fourth level counter spell. That's all I got left is a fourth level counter spell. You at, so it's it's you. One after it is this after Sarits. You can you can you can do these in any order that you want. Wait, what did Sarit do? I have made Slayer, so he casts a spell. I, I get to hit him with sneak attack. Okay, but that's do, do that. Sort of do that. Okay, okay. But you guys I don't think that just stops do that. the spell from happening. Do that. You I can do both. Is stuff. there an order that you want to resolve these in? Do you want to do the counter spell first and then this him her, for him first? Okay. You first. Sure. Okay. I'm gonna silvery barbs. It was him. twenty-five. Okay. Okay. Twenty-five to okay. hit. I'm gonna silvery yeah. barbs him. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What yes. does that do? You have to roll with disadvantage to hit. Uh, oh wait. Also, I don't think we didn't get the. It's the he has the last mirror image on him, and you right? Give her advantage. Yes. On her spell. There's a last mirror image. Brilliant. Here. Okay. Oh. There's a last. Yeah. There's a last mirror image here. I love it. Brilliant. So I have to roll with disadvantage. Mm -hmm. Want to kiss you? <laughs> yeah. So smart. Cool. Yeah. Oh, uh, we're gonna roll for okay. mirror image here. You want a one through a ten on this? That's a six. Wow. Woo! You hit the man himself. Except no, you have to roll with I disadvantage. I rolled with disadvantage, and I'm gonna miss him. What did you get on your second attack? A uh, 17. Okay, 17. Um, Counterspell coming in twice. You have advantage. Yeah. Well, sorry. No, no. I don't think it would have killed him. No. Whatever you did. I don't think so it either. It was, it was, it was, it was just all sixes, sixes right? So. Yeah. Is this a ninth level spell? Ninth level spell. Oh my god. You're gonna have to roll so fucking high. Is it a nat 20? No, it's not a nat 20. I believe you had plus five to the roll, so there's gotta be a 14 or higher. I have to roll? You have to roll. Yeah, you, have to you roll, roll the counter spell. Fourth, I have to roll, you have to roll the counter spell. Wait, yes. we oh, sorry, and you're, you're- Fourth level, fourth level. Fourth level. Um, I mean, if we only need a 14, we can get a 14. I'm going to home rule in this instance that because you're casting it up one level, you can get it on a 13 or higher. Okay. And I have an advantage or just you have advantage. Advantage. advantage? Come on. 13 or oh Come my on, You got on. this. You Come got on. this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Porco. 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 Those are two tens. <laughs> Copy that. Does the best wing for us have uh, more than 38 yeah. hit points? I am going to make a ruling here. The counter spell is gone. Spell. Is gone. It does not succeed. No other counter spells active anywhere no. here. Your disadvantage attack roll here. Missed. <laughs> that spin. Uh, here's the thing. Vespin's AC has been unnaturally high this whole time because he's been casting shield whenever he can. Uh, if in reaction to your, you, you rolled a 17 on your attack roll, right? I did. 17 is his armor class without shield. So, he would have to cast shield to avoid it. But doing so would trigger your reaction that you are using. It's a, it's a complicated scenario. Reaction, reaction, yeah. So, Travis, the way we're gonna resolve this is this. Because he's gonna throw his shield up so he doesn't get hit. 
But I only have one reaction, so I couldn't do it twice. But it's yes, it's it's an interesting it's an interesting thing. I'm gonna leave this to one last roll of the dice. He's got an armor class of 22 with that shield going up, but I'm gonna allow you, because you're reacting to him casting a spell, to react anew to that casting of shield. No advantage, no disadvantage. You've got one chance to hit an armor class of 22. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Box out. Natural 20! 20! <laughs> God, yes, yes! What? <laughs> roll. Oh, roll double damage, if you'd be so kind. Sneak attack, too? Oh my god. I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> I, I have I feel. A negative two right I think I'm a dead. <laughs> Barely. Okay. I'm just like, what? <laughs> Okay, that's 67 points of damage. Oh Ooh. my god! I just wrote down on this piece of paper how many hit points <laughs> Thespin Chloris had. How much damage did you just roll? 67. With 35 hit points. Oh! <laughs> oh my god! No fucking no! Travis, how do you want to do this? <laughs> Oh my god. That is so nasty. Oh, so, oh, wow. Wow. I see, I see Vespin aiming for Laren, and the hawk that he usually keeps in a concealed manner, the blade rests in the palm of your hand. You can fold your fingers over it and that's it. He reaches back and lets it slide all the way down to the bottom of the handle so you get the maximum momentum. And he sinks it eye to eye straight into his temple and pulls it down. <clears throat> With the yank on the hawk, you watch the light go out of his eyes. And <clears throat> uh, a silhouette of him in flame is all that is left as his body is wrenched back to the bottom of the nine hells. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to need a uh, constitution saves. If you have any active spell effects. Um, two, are up. two are up. Go ahead and give me two constitution saves, uh, concentration checks, essentially. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Wow. We just got it. What yeah. happened over there? Natural two. It was. It was a two one and, a and a one, two. and then a one, and then a one and a fourteen. Oh Shakes. <laughs> um. Eleven. Seventeen. Uh. Thirty-one. Forty damage from the first one. <gasps> oh no. Thing. I have one hit point now. Oh no. And you failed both saves, correct? What was the DC on the second one? Uh DC was 19. Oh, are these technically spell like is this spell damage? No, this is not spell damage. God damn it, Brennan. I so did sorry. one important thing and you're just not letting me know. <laughs> <laughs> um So we had a trace. So the second one Dose. would be an 18. The second one would be an 18? Yeah, it was a 14 on the die, plus four. Does that make it? DC is 19. Damn. Which is why it's really, really good that a ready. Do not leave me. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, your healing work. Oh my god. You cannot leave me now. <laughs> Go ahead and roll that oh for god. me, see? I thought you were dying. What are you talking about? <laughs> He just been in the corner picking his teeth, waiting for this beautiful <laughs> moment. Waiting. I'm losing my mind. I mean, I'm just rolling a. She's back up, right? <sighs> back up. Yeah. I mean, and I... Laren, you don't even drop because the spell was ready. It's as a reaction. It's on. Wow. It's on the turn where you take the damage, so you don't even lose consciousness. You just take the damage and are back. 
Sam. Oh my god. Ten points. Ten points. Okay. And Laren, with the word of healing from your fey husband, you have ten hit points, and it's your turn. Okay, I was all for this, and it has to have been worth it. I try to finish. I just have to finish. Give me. I'm about to die. Yes, it's so bad. What are you trying to roll? What are you? It, they've been our common checks the whole yeah, time. And you right? can roll with advantage, but yes, absolutely. Uh, it's 22. Uh, 28. Uh, just with that last healing word, give me one more of Loquacious's uh, bardic inspirations on top of it. Okay. Plus another four. 32. 32. I'm physically falling apart right now. 100%. Laren. Almost falling. You see Loquacious. Patia, your best friend to your side. You see lying beside each other, Xerxes and Nidus, standing in the center of the room, still fighting with every breath, is Seret. You reach, all of you feel. <gasps> As the city settles, its energy restored from what you saved from the Tree of Names. Touch your hands, this thing you made, this dream. Are you the woman who doomed the world or are you the woman who saved it? Are all of you the heroes that you strove to be or the villains that from time to time you might have been afraid you were becoming. In a world with this much power, what can be said to be the difference? You reach far away the Eldritch Battery with the names of the Emperor and Empress alight. <laughs> Lime green energy wah, rushing through the city as the city docks atop Kath Moira, the sun threatening to rise above the horizon. The energy rushes into the ground, their names inscribed to break the ancient wards, to release the primordials, a colossus of fire, a titan of earth, to join the betrayers and bring eternal torment to Exandria. That is what was foretold. If the primordials joined, all would be lost. Dying from his injuries, but smiling because he completed his last instructions. Callum staff right, connected the broken battery back to the etheric net and put it online for you. It is nice perhaps to know that a woman of your singular genius was not completely alone. The energy rushes into the earth, connected to the layrite, and swirls, preparing to summon them back into Exandria, and instead the Layrite crafts a path away from this world. You made your choice. Safety for Avalir and Kathmoira and the lands of Dominus, or certainty that Exandria in some form would survive the coming calamity. Loquacious and Laren. What? I read that you immediately. Yeah. I 
grab your hands and just stare into your eyes. And are you okay? Yeah. You did it. I couldn't have done any of it without you. Without all of us. This isn't uh, the most romantic place in the world, but it sort of looks like a church. Uh, yeah. Oh. I think we have a little time. I, I've been able to become anyone I want my whole life. But I just want to be with you. I can't believe that the thing I almost broke beyond fixing was us. You're the best thing that ever happened to me, and I have lived my life in defiance of the gods, but meeting you and being loved by you is a miracle. So I know they're real. And for whatever time we have left, I love you. I have always loved you. And I will always love you. I love you too. And I'll just... just kiss her. Yeah. Knowing that there's chaos outside. The halls are crumbling. Energy is being released. Do you attempt to keep your promise to try and make your way out, or do you accept what is to come? I'll move to the door, and look, my children deserve that. My eyes go wide, feathers up. Can I send him across the bond? The labyrinth that I know so well, like directions to the closest viewing window that he could potentially make his way out of. The directions to the, yes, absolutely. Um, this will be our final role of this campaign. Uh, you have bardic inspiration. I do. A D10? A D10. Um, with, and, and mechanically that's giving advantage, correct? Um, you have a die of bardic inspiration. You have advantage. This is the calamity. DC, we are setting, is 30. How is he all the way across the room? He is uh, most of the way across the room, I believe, yes. Why? I'll try. I'll try to just throw him my, my talisman. I have a, I have a packed boon talisman. And that adds a D4. A D4 if he fails. A D4 if he fails. You're gonna roll this with advantage. And you have a die of inspiration. Let's roll the inspiration first. And uh, inspiration first. See what you're adding. Come on. That's cocked. Eight. Okay. You're rolling. Uh, you're rolling with advantage, and if you fail, you get a D4. What a am DC. I? What am I rolling? Investigation, which oh, is plus. Now, pl with that inspiration, plus twenty-one. Oh my God! Come on, guys. You got this. It's a, it's a plus what? Plus twenty-one. That's a 31. Oh! That's a 10. Oh, no way. <laughs> Laren and Loquacious Embrace, your movement is the only thing that saves you, that you can move 150 feet around. Underneath you, Raushan and Kamwart 
are released. You made sure it would work. Fire and earth together. Magma, lava, veins of red opening in the earth. As Avalir crumbles and the magic spreads, sprinting through collapsing tunnels, soaring as fast as you can through tight turns. Do we still have some remnant of a telepathic bond? Yes. Can I reach out to Lairon yeah. and say, the brass ring endures. I want you to know you gave us a chance. I don't think you hear anything back. Just you feel relief. <clears throat> Why do we tell stories? To try to make sense of a world that can be terrifying and enormous. In Exandria, I don't know that your story will long be known. I don't know who will remain to tell it, but it did happen and it did matter. And though calamity is here because of you, it will not be here forever. Thanks so much for watching.